Hi, Taurus. Taroscope reading. And I'm going to do the gypsy spread because it'll give the most in-depth reading to the end of the year. First I will deal out the... Let's make sure it's up against the corner. I will deal out the seven cards in a row from right to left. And I will do three rows of this. The deck I am using is Tarot Illuminati. And the first column I'm going to do is the column on the right. And it is the energy that you are bringing into the month. So let's first get these cards out and then start the reading. All right, put this down over here. Okay, the first column, the energy that you are bringing into the month, we have over here. We have the Prince of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles reversed, and the King of Wands. Okay, the Prince of Pentacles is you. This is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It's an earth sign. You are very strong, very secure, and very patient. You know what you want. You know which direction you're going, what you're trying to accomplish, and you will wait patiently until everybody else is on the same page as you are. With Four of Pentacles reversed, at this time you are not being really um, stingy with your money, with your finances. You're not clinging to them as much as you have in the past. You're a little more open and free and you're enjoying yourself going out and not not penny pinching or watching everything you spend or buy. And there's also a fire sign in your life. This is the King of Wands. It is an Aries, Scorpio, I mean Sagittarius, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. This person is very strong and very, very he has a lot of passion, a lot of a lot of energy, a lot of drive, a lot of desire, a lot of spirituality. And as you can see, he's very systematic in his in his face here. You can see how he's very strategizing. He's contemplating the direction he needs to go. So this could be a very significant person in your life. It could be your partner, your somebody you work with, or it could be a family member, but somebody that's you're probably spending a lot of time with, and that's why you're not paying attention to your money so much because you are just having fun with them. In your home life, you have the wheel reversed, seven of cups and justice card reversed. So right now, normally the wheel, as it turns, it goes from good luck, bad luck, good luck, bad luck. It continues to turn. So you never have to worry about being stuck in a cycle forever because the wheel turns. And if you're in a bad cycle, you're having some bad luck, it will change. It will turn to good luck. But with it reversed, that means that it is stagnant. You are in your home life, you have been in this same karmic situation for a while. Obviously, there is something that you need to learn and that you need to look at closer in order for this wheel to finally turn over and for you to change the cycle, for the wheel to turn again and things to move on. So you need to look at your situation 
and what the lessons are you need to learn. If you don't, this will continue to happen where you will continue to have these lessons being taught to you over and over again until you finally see them and acknowledge them and learn from them. And then they don't have to happen ever again. With Seven of Cups, in your home life, you have a lot of choices to make, a lot of decisions to make. It probably has to do with this karma, these lessons you need to learn, and you're trying to weed through them. Earth signs are very systematic and very procedural, so you are probably looking at each situation and how it affects you and analyzing it all. But you need to not take so much time with it because some of these situations won't be there for very long. The, your opportunity with these situations may disappear before you realize it. So you need to learn to be quicker with your decisions or your analyzing. Actually, some of these may not be real. And you need to figure that out also. You need to figure out what would be good for you and do it quick. With the justice card reversed, there was something that was unjust that happened to you. And that's probably why you are looking at your situation now. And it's not you're not going to get justice from this situation. Sometimes things happen and bad things happen to good people and there is no justice. It just happens. But it actually there is a reason for it. There is a lesson that you need to learn and that's the reason this bad stuff has happened. And there won't be justice. The person or the situation is not going to be taught a lesson. This is something you need to learn. The next column is your desires, the Princess of Pentacles, the Tower card, and Two of Wands. So the Princess of Pentacles, you desire a new beginning, a fresh beginning, a fresh situation financially and, and more with your earthly possessions. You want a new, new opportunity to plant the seed and to have it be very nurturing and f fruitful. You want the situation that has been stagnant to finally end, to finally to finally crumble with the tower card. You want it to finally end, to be brought down to the ground and to either be rebuilt or to start new with some something else because you'll have that space now. You'll be able to bring in something that's better. And with the Two of Wands, you desire to start looking to your future again, to make some plans, to figure out which direction you are going to go. It may be without this tower, this situation. It may be with this new, new direction. What you expect to happen is the Fool reversed, the King of Swords, and the Five of Cups. The Fool reversed. You expect that you will not be starting a new adventure. You're not going to be setting out in any major different direction at this time. There's a person that is an air sign, which is a Libra an Aquarius or a Gemini. They are very articulate and very precise with their communication. They know how to say things and how they affect people. So they will flat out tell you the truth. They won't sugarcoat anything and try to make it so it doesn't hurt or so it's gentle or so you you understand it thoroughly they'll just say it flat out how it is and then you have to deal with with the truth this is a 
an air sign that's around you that is a part of your life that you care for deeply and they are going to you expect this person to tell you how it is for good or bad and you also expect to mourn the loss the loss of something that you cared for deeply and you need to you need to mourn the loss you need to whenever there's a loss be it family friend whatever it could even be a job you need to mourn that loss before you can move on before you can turn and see the two cups still standing and then start a new direction a new future what is going to surprise you for the month of is the the world reversed four of cups and prince of swords the world reversed it's going to surprise you that you usually i look at the world card as as you maturing it's time for you to take the next phase of your life and to mature to become wise but it's going to surprise you that it's not time for you to take that next step in your life to mature there is still something you need to do some karma you need to learn some lesson you need to go through before you can take that next step and become more mature and wise there is a love a divine love that is being offered to you presented to you but you are surprised because you have built this wall around you and it's just blocking out that aspect of your life all the love and compassion from other people you are so focused on your own life and you have built up such a wall probably because of past experiences like heartbreak or whatever has happened that you aren't seeing what is being offered to you at this time you do have an air sign around you that is like i said it's a libra an aquarius or a gemini and they are charging right in they they are just they don't care if it's in front of an army or if it's battling away or whatever they are just saying how it is they don't care what's going on around them and this really surprises you at how forward they are because you are so in your own little tunnel vision your own little world at this time and you need somebody like this to get you out snap you out of that situation to bring you back to focus on what needs to get done your soon to be future you have the 6 of wands reversed the queen of wands reversed and the 10 of swords so right away with the 10 of swords you do get this this heartbreak this um stab in the back feeling probably from this tower that you desire to finally end to be done with you do get this but as you can see the sun is coming up so after the 10th one there is no more that can be had you will start afresh you will be back at square one and you will overcome this you will you will heal from this you need to completely feel the pain before you can heal you need to get it out just like with the 5 of cups you need to mourn that loss in order to move on and to heal and to move on there is a an fire sign around you it's either an aries sagittarius 
or a Leo. It's the Queen of Wands, and they are acting out of the reversal at this time. Normally, they're very intuitive, very charismatic, very spiritual, caring, giving. But right now, they're being kind of focused on their own life, their own world, and they're not being as caring and compassionate with you as they used to be. They're not being as nurturing or intuitive or spiritual as they used to be. And you're not seeing the acknowledgement that you thought you would get from accomplishing what it is you have accomplished. Sometimes if something bad happens, people see that you have overcome whatever the bad is, but they won't say anything because they don't want you to be hurt and to feel it all over again. So that is probably why you're not getting the acknowledgement for your accomplishments is because people don't want to bring up the feelings for you again. They don't know how to say or show that they care and think you did a good job. In your long-term future, your long-term outcome, by the end of this year, by the end of, you have Princess of Wands reversed, Ten of Wands, and Seven of Swords reversed. So Princess of Wands reversed. There is this desire you have, this passion, this drive, that is a thought, an idea that you would like to put into motion, but not... It's not time for it yet. You need to probably still heal and rest. And maybe next year will be the time to put this desire, this passion back into place. And with the Ten of Wands, I can see that you still have a lot of burdens that you are carrying. And you probably need to take care of this business, these, these burdens, before you can lay them down or give them back to who they belong to because earth signs have a tendency to like to help people and they will take on other people's burdens just to help them out. With Seven of Swords reversed, somebody was trying to get away with something but with this being reversed, they aren't able to. You see the light now. You understand the situation, what it was they were trying to steal from you, either your emotions, your your finances, your your time, your energy, your whatever it is they were trying to, your heart, whatever it is they were trying to steal from you or take from you, they aren't, aren't able to. You have figured them out. You have figured out the situation which is really good. So it looks like you start really strong from the beginning and you have a lot of decisions and stuff you need to do in your home life. As you go through the month, you do get time to heal finally and to grow and to move on by the end of the year. So it does sound like you accomplish a lot. You finally figure out the situation. And it looks like you're going to be pretty busy throughout the end of this year. I hope you have a great rest of this year. Bless you all.